Today I'm going to give away a free t-shirt, bring you a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, reveal the books I bought this week, and if I screw up, a blooper reel. It's the last episode of 2016. I'm Victor. And you are watching The Comic Hero Show. Welcome to this week's edition of the Comic Hero Show. I'm your host, Victor Nunley, and I am the Comic Hero. Coming to you from Clint's Comics here in Monroe, Louisiana. And folks, this is the last episode of 2016. And uh, from what y'all could take away from the very beginning of it, I am wearing tees based on the schools who have whose football teams are in the college football playoffs, and they will be playing this weekend. So if you're a student at the University of Alabama, Clemson University, the Ohio State University and the University of Washington. Good luck. And uh, I, I just want to begin this episode on a very uh, serious and somber note. Um, in a year where we've lost a lot of celebrities, we, lo we lost a very, very beloved actress. And I'm talking about Carrie Fisher. Um, for those of you who don't know, this past Friday she... Um, had a massive heart attack while on a flight from London to LA and she didn't recover from it and she passed away peacefully yesterday at the age of 60. Now, she um, is most, I mean, I don't even have to, ex I don't even have to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. She is most um, famously known as the playing, for, playing the role of Princess Leia in the Star Wars franchise. Most uh, notably, she played her in uh, Star Wars Episode Seven, um, The Force Awakens. And from my understanding, she right be um, right before she made the flight to to London, she also um, reprised a role in Episode Eight, which would be coming out in a few years. But I'm, uh, you know, it it sucks. I didn't think we'd have to worry about anyone any Star Wars cast member passing away after Alec Guinness did 19 years ago. Um, well, but, you know, my thoughts and prayers go out to her mom, Debbie Reynolds, and then her, her daughter and, and the rest of her family. But I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Now, when a person dies, they don't necessarily... I don't care what anyone says. They're, they may not be here in the flesh walking upon the earth. But it's not but death is not the end of the journey. It's also it's also a, a part it's also a stage we all have to go through. And Carrie, I know wherever you are, I know that you made your journey. I know you I, and I know that you're in a much better, in a much better place, a place we're all trying to get to. So, rest in love, Carrie. We love you. We'll miss you, and we can't wait to see you again. All right, it's time to give away a free T-shirt. All right, last week's episode, I asked, "What is the name of the fictitious town in California where Back to the Future is set in?" Well, the answer is Hill Valley. And eight people have answered correctly. And because they've answered correctly, they've entered themselves in a drawing for a free tea in this episode. And that takes place right now. So, the winner of the free tea for this week's episode is... <laughs> One of my other cousins, Lavert Washington from Minden, Louisiana. Congratulations, Lavert. You win yourself a free comic hero tea. All right, now here's the question for next week's episode. Who directed the Batman movies from 1989 and 1992? Now here's a hint. He directed Pee Wee's Playhouse four years before he directed the first Batman movie. And he's also directed almost every movie that Johnny Depp has started. Everyone who answers correctly will be in a drawing and a free tea for next week's episode. Now, my good friends, the owners of Southern Realms Comics and Games, James and Jennifer Gunter, 
from, from West Monroe, Louisiana, has requested a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight. And this one features um, two very animated characters. And when I say animated, I mean like animated to the point where nothing can destroy them. And they're always smiling. Representing Dark Horse, we have The Mask. And representing Marvel, we have Slapstick. These two are going to duke it out in a segment I like to call... The, the Comic, Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown Hero Showdown. Showdown. Welcome to the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Today, it's The Mask versus Slapstick. The Mask possesses reality fabric manipulation. The wearer of the magical mask can alter its surrounding reality, including ex nihilo object manifestation, superhuman strength, durability, speed and agility, and vulnerability to any kind of assault except removing the mask, and increased intelligence at the loss of sanity, inhibitions, and self-control. Slapstick is an experienced practical joker who possesses superhuman agility, durability, and reflexes, enhanced strength when electrocuted, indestructibility, virtually unlimited malleability, and minimal reality manipulation. Who will win? It's obvious, but it'd be entertaining. After countless minutes of unsuccessfully whacking each other with various objects, the mask will grab Slapstick, pick him up, and attempt to throw him in oncoming traffic. Although it wouldn't hurt Slapstick, he still manages to roll out of the throw, grab the back of the mask's mask, and yank it off. He then converts back to being Stanley Ipkiss. Ipkiss backs away from Slapstick and begs Slapstick not to hurt him. Slapstick then says, I'm not going to hurt you, but I can't say the same thing for that 18-wheeler coming your way. I would say what happens next, but you could probably take a guess. Slapstick wins, and that concludes this fight on the Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown Showdown. Showdown. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the Comic Heroes Throwdown Showdown, and if you have a fight request for next week's episode, contact info is down there. All right. For the last time in 2016, let's get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. First up are four issues of the same book, and that book is Justice League, and I have Justice League number eight. Justice League number nine. Justice League number 10. And Justice League number 11. Now, y'all can probably guess that I'm very behind on these books, and you're right, I am. The last story arc that I read was called State of Fear, where a lot of the members of the Justice League, well, their fears are coming to light. Like, the Flash's fear of slowing down is coming to light. Uh, the Jessica Cruz Green Lantern fear of uh, being out in public is coming to light. Uh, Batman, um, hit, I mean, well, Superman's fear of uh, losing Lois and John and John are coming to light. I mean, just, just all of them. And I'm still, um, I, I was just about to read number seven, but some of these... Um, there is a four-part uh, story arc called Outbreak, that ta that which actually takes place number eight. And right after that, it gets right into Justice League versus the Suicide Squad. I'm very excited to uh, start reading that. All right, next up are three issues of the same book, and that book is Batman. And I have Batman number 10. Batman number 11. And Batman number 13. Now this story arc is called I Am Suicide. And Batman finds out that Bane and the Psycho Pirate are working together in Santa Prisca. So what he does, he goes to Arkham Asylum and breaks out a, a few um, a few bad guys. He breaks out uh, one of them in particular that he breaks out is the Catwoman. Now that now keep in mind, this Catwoman in New 52 universe 
is nothing to sneeze at. She is a natural born killer and has killed a whole bunch of people. Which, uh, which considers why she's actually in Arkham. Well, Batman is recruiting, recruiting her and several other characters and they're about to go to Santa Prisca and take down Bane and the Psycho Pirate. Now, right after I left BC Comics in Bossier City last Friday, I went to Second and Charles, which is also in Bossier City, and bought a few books. And earlier this evening, I also bought some books from Books A Million in Monroe, Louisiana. Now, there's 11 of them, so I'm not going to give a brief description of each book. Here they are. First up is Death of X, number four. Invincible Iron Man, number two. Captain America, Sam Wilson, number 15. Amazing Spider-Man, number 16. Amazing Spider-Man, number 17. Amazing Spider-Man, number 20. Batman, number 12. Wonder Woman number 10. Wonder Woman number 11. Captain Marvel number 8. And finally, Captain Marvel number 9. That's 11 more I bought. Which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 7,650. Back to the show. Alright, next up is Action Comics number 970. This is part of the, the storyline in which these two aliens come from, a, um, from an alternate timeline in the future where Lex Luthor becomes Darkseid and destroys the entire universe. And they're coming to uh, bring Lex Luthor back to their time and put him to trial and prevent what really happens. And they, they do, and then Superman decides, okay, I don't want to do it because I really don't like the guy, but I'm going to have to, I'm have to find him and rescue him. All right, next up is Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, number 11. Yeah, that's right, number 11. This is part of the Bottle Light story arc. And in it, while on the planet Mogo, which is also a Green Lantern, by the way, the Green Lantern Corps get kidnapped by, uh, by Brainiac, or the brand spanking new Brainiac. But we find out that it really wasn't Brainiac that, that, um, that kidnapped him. It was actually none other than the only the only person in the whole planet which who reels a, an orange lantern ring, Larflees. We also find out that Hal Jordan, that Kyle Rayner ends up uh, uh, rescuing Hal Jordan from his, from inside his own ring and brings him back. It's gonna it's, it's not gonna be long before the band gets back together. I, I can promise you this. And then finally. Civil War 2, number 8. Folks, this is the, the last issue. This And you know what? What better week than the last Wednesday of 2016 for this book to come out? A lot of things are, are going on. Iron Man is a... Well, Ulysses ends up getting a vision of Iron Man dying. And then he alerts the Inhumans and a few other Marvel characters, hey, we gotta save Iron Man from dying. We can't let this happen. And that's how it ends. And this is the conclusion to Civil War II. All right, now that's 10 I bought, which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 
to 7,660. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode, and here's a question for a free tea for next week's episode. Who directed Batman from 1989 and Batman Returns from 1992? And here's a hint. This person directed Pee-wee's Big Adventure in 1985, and he also directed basically every movie that Johnny Depp has ever starred in. Everyone who answers correctly will be entering the drawing for a free tea for next week's episode. And um, happy birthday, um... Tomorrow to one of my classmates from Homer High School, Dustin Williams. Happy birthday, Dustin. And also, a happy birthday on Friday to uh, two women that I, were, that I was in band with at uh, Bossier Parish Community College, Denise Ogletree and Nicole Grimes. And also, a very special happy birthday to Mr. Marvel himself, Stan Lee. Stan, 94, looks good on you. Hope you have a, wonder, hope you have a wonderful birthday. And you know what? I just hope that one day I'll be able to cross off my bucket list to interview this, this man. All right. Um, it's the last episode of 2016. Another successful calendar year. And it's also, well, not exactly. It won't be, it won't exactly be a year until next year, but um, until, well, February, really. Well, late January, early February. Um, It'll be my first year of hosting a comic hero show at Clint's under the management of both Claire and Bobby. And you know, it, it's it's been a great run. I hope to do this for over here for many, many, many years to come. And um, our New Year's Eve's coming up, folks. Y'all don't do anything reckless. I want to see y'all next I want to see y'all in the year 2017 I'm not going to do anything reckless um and alright see you later Scott alright and um and folks and just, just be careful out there I mean there's gonna I know a, a lot of y'all going to be going out celebrating I'm going to be celebrating well to an extent but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything dumb or, or anything like that. But um, yeah, you know this this is uh, 2016 for me personally has been a very eventful year. Um, kind of started out bad. My uncle passed away at the very end of 2015. We laid him to rest. Um, going right into the new year, and then a few months later, my grandmother passed away. Um, and then I can just go on and, but I'm going to try to make this an even better year than I did before. And that's, you know, and that I'm, I'm pretty much speaking for everyone. We all want to live better than we did the year before. Oh, and again, good luck to the University of Washington, the University of uh, Alabama, Clemson University, and the Ohio State University uh, in the college football playoffs, which begins this weekend. All right, well, I really don't have anything else to say. But just be careful out there. See you next year. Um, anyway, I'm Victor Nelly. I'm the comic here. I'll see you next year for episode 146, right back here at Clint's Comics. So till then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero, and Purple Rain. Go Bucks. All in. Roll Tide.
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight. And if you have a fight for this week's... That's it. Ah, blooper reel. Off a dump. All right, first up, our four bushy... Uh. All right, first up, our four issues of the same book, and that book is bad. It's not bad, man. It's just asleep. Dadgummit. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode, and here's a question again for a free tea for next week's episode. Who directed... All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode, and here's a free the question for a... Oh, man, what is wrong with me? <laughs>